Today, we're gonna to be taking an in-depth look at the brand new Strong Series rower by Averon, a connected fitness company whose mission is to, quote, end boring workouts. A mission to which they certainly seem dedicated to with a large and growing assortment of games, programs, and challenges alongside a seamless, easy to jump into multiplayer experience, a wide variety of entertainment options such as Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Amazon, YouTube, and others, and even the ability to listen to your own Spotify account while you row. However, this is true of all of Averon's rowers, but what makes the Averon Strong Series unique is that it has a much shorter and more space efficient design, alongside being the most accessible and adjustable rower that I have ever seen. This is Colin Jenkins with Connect the Watts, where we cover the latest in connected fitness, and welcome to our review of the Averon Strong Series rower. The Strong Series has a brand new look compared to their previous rowers, and personally, I really sort of did this more industrial, sharper design with a much more compact front, which sort of gives the impression that it is floating above the ground. And this new front end also has air vents that are directed towards you, so you get a natural breeze while you row. Now, it's not a huge amount of air, but you can definitely feel it, and it's certainly welcome when you are in the middle of a hard row. The shorter front end also effectively cuts off over an entire foot of length from the previous version, taking it from 97 inches to now just 83 and a half inches when fully laid out. And this is all due to having that more compact front. The rail itself is the exact same length, which allows for users as tall as six foot seven inches and as heavy as 507 pounds. In addition to being shorter, the Averon Strong Series is able to be stored upright. And unlike most other rowers, has a stable enough base to pass safety requirements and not require additional wall anchors in order to be safely stored in this upright position. The low rail being just 10 inches off the ground alongside the high seat is another very unique design choice for Averon and one that I am personally a huge fan of as it allows the rower to be accessible to even individuals with major mobility restrictions. Oftentimes rowers like Ergata for example will have very low seats which can make it hard for some people that are heavier or more restricted with their mobility to get in and out of easily. And even though Averon's other rower, the Impact Series here, has a high seat as well, it also has a high rail, which can make it hard for some to step over. And that's why the Strong Series is so cool, because it provides both a high seat alongside the low rail, which makes it the most accessible rower available. And even more for some with the optional lumbar support, which you can purchase separately. And alongside this idea of accessibility, there are adjustable foot pads here. Some people prefer the more narrow foot pads, such as an Argata or perhaps really wide like on the Nordic Track RW900, but Averon is the only rower which lets you adjust to whichever hip and leg placement you prefer, which again makes it more accessible to more people. And to give you an idea about why I'm so happy to see this improved accessibility, my mother-in-law who lives next door to me, and I know I pretty much have become Raymond Romano at this point, but anyways, she has MS and very limited mobility. And so every morning my wife helps her get set up for some exercise. And the options that she has are very limited, but the Averon Strong Series is the only rower that she's been able to get into and use and now has become a part of her weekly rotation. And so I think that speaks volumes to just how accessible this rower is. And I could stop there and still be impressed, but there's even more. The foot pads here have a very easy to use adjustment system and seem well built for both very short and very large feet. The rail itself slants at a slightly downward angle, which helps with correct body positioning. The seat is extra wide at a full 20 inches to support a variety of body types. And while I think the seat is comfortable as it is, they do have a new optional cloud seat upgrade, which you can order if you prefer a more softer feel. The handle is 19 inches in length, which is much wider than many others, so more accessible for taller users. And the handle is also unique in that it rotates, which helps users keep their wrist in a more neutral position. Now, this rotation alongside its fully rounded shape isn't my favorite, to be honest, as I find a thinner fixed handle more comfortable to use, but I do appreciate the reason why it is designed the way it is, and overall, that's probably a good thing. Also new here is a cell phone holder, and set to come out later this year is an attachment that allow you to change resistance with buttons directly on the handlebar. And by the way, if you're finding this video useful and you want to see more content like this in the future, well, make sure to subscribe below. Okay, so in terms of resistance, the Averon Strong Series rower combines both an air fan and magnetic resistance for a total of 16 levels. The combination is well done, allowing for both a traditional feel of a rower while also allowing the resistance to be automatically ratcheted up during certain types of games. And at its highest level of resistance, which Averon says is 100 
pounds, though I don't think it's quite as much as that, but that can also be utilized to mix in some strength movements like curls. And since it does utilize an air fan, it does make some sound, but it doesn't make a lot. And actually the Strong Series has seen quite a bit of improvement here, as this is noticeably more quiet than even the Impact Series. The HD touchscreen here has remained the same at 22 inches and still looks great, is quick and responsive, and has a solid 4 gigabytes of working memory. The positioning of the screen here is just about perfect, allowing for neutral head position. The speakers, while not the greatest, are certainly not bad. And new to the Strong Series is that the touchscreen, in addition to being able to tilt up and down, can now be rotated side to side with slightly more than 90 degrees in each direction. It also easily folds down as well, as you'll need to do that in order to store it in the upright position. Now, of course, being a well-built, extremely accessible rower is good, and that might be reason enough to choose the Averon Strong Series over some others, but I think most people interested in this rower are primarily interested in the game-focused membership. The membership costs $29 per month, or $25 a month if you pay up front per year, and includes an unlimited amount of accounts that can be used on the rower. And as I mentioned earlier, Averon seems intent on finding new ways to end boring workouts. And from what I've seen this year, they've had a very strong cadence of new games and workout modes, the design of which continues to get better and better with each iteration, from fighting pirates to taking down bosses, competing in races, getting high scores and lane-based workouts, and more. There is a lot of variety here. There are even experience coins to collect while you row, which can be used to get new skins and backgrounds for the various game mode types. There's a monthly challenge and high scores for each mode to go after for those who like competition, but the coolest part by far is the improvements made to allow for an easy to use seamless multiplayer mode. See, whenever you start most workout modes, unless you choose to turn it off, your workout is made public with spots available for anybody to jump in and join you if they'd like. And most times I'm doing a workout, especially if it's in a popular mode, I'll have people just jump on in. And oftentimes that's how I'll choose my workouts as well. I'll look to see what everybody else is doing. And if something looks interesting and there's a spot open, I'll just jump on in as it does really make it a lot more fun knowing you are working with somebody else to try to reach a new level on a game or maybe compete against them to see who can get a better score. And in addition to jumping into random workouts, you can also join or set up organized workouts. And the online community for Averon is one of the most active I've ever seen relative to the amount of users. So it's very easy to find a workout partner or a few if that's something you're interested in. Now, what I personally like and utilize the most is the ability to watch shows or movies on Netflix, Disney Plus, and Amazon and others while I row. And the reason I really like to do this has to do with effective training. See, while I do enjoy instructor-led workouts, the problem I often find with it is that I know if I want to get the best results in terms of building endurance or health benefits, I need to spend a good portion of my training at a lower heart rate. And it's extremely rare to find instructor-led training that actually caters to that because they usually just want to give people what they want, which is an ass kicking, rather than what would be actually more effective. And so having the ability to not do an instructor-led workout, instead just catch up on a show or a movie at a lower intensity is just perfect for me. And I wish more companies would do this as almost none do. So very happy to see that Averon has not only allowed this, but supports it as well, allowing you to see your metrics and even counting all of your rowing while you watch shows towards your monthly goal or collecting experience points. So I'm a big fan of this and Averon does have some trainer led content from the rowing YouTuber Training Tall, which while it doesn't have anywhere near the production value as say Hydro, it is an appreciated and useful place to start as a beginner. The only downside to Averon, depending on what you prefer, is that outside of the Training Tall series that are available, there is very little here in terms of structure. So if you're somebody that prefers to have a structured laid out program, then you may find that lacking here as the design philosophy is much more geared to just having fun and jumping into what your friends are doing on any given day. There is evidently some monthly structured programs that are coming down the road, but they will be utilizing all of the same games and workouts here rather than being built around a progressive training structure. So even with that, if you really want a structured program, then the A Averon rower might not be the best fit for you. Additionally, there is no Strava or other third-party workout tracking support. And while I know that is in the works, I will update the written description of this review below when that has been added. 
Now, the price of the Averon Strong Series rower is $2,499, which puts it in line with other premium connected fitness rowers like Hydro and Ergata. It's certainly not cheap by any means, but given the quality of the design, the accessibility features, and just the overall package, I think it's certainly a contender among the best rowers available. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Now, the Averon Impact rower is a bit lower in cost, and you can see my review of that here. Again, this is Colin with Connect the Watts. Appreciate you being here, and I'll see you next time.